This is Bruce and Bros, episode number 52. The big 5-2. We're doing another poolside pod. Yes, sir. Not a poolside pie. Yeah. <laughs> that <was laughs> That's funny. maybe next week. I caught that. You caught that. Yeah, poolside pie. Yeah, why not? Doing some pale ales. Fantastic. And a little something different. You know, on this pod, we like to educate, uh, yes. you know, uh, our I'm beer brothers and sisters. This. So yeah. we're going to bring up some famous beer lawsuits. Okay, interesting. Can't ready wait. For, ready for this, Don? Yes, sir. Two brothers. Three beers. Let's, Let's go. go. I'm the bruiser. I'm the Donner Nesto. We got pale ales, and I, I'm, I've always said that if we're gonna hit the grail for me, sure, it's probably gonna be a pale ale. I get, I agree with you. So yep. for the grail, right? We're yep. trying to get something obviously that has some flavor. For sure, uh, we want something that's crushable. Yep. Uh, and uh, we want something that. What's the other one? Right? After we always bite. the afterbite. After <laughs> yeah, it's not something that's just smooth all the way through. Correct. And bonus points if we have aroma. Yes, I know you're big on that. Like you want to crack that can. And we've had them in the past. You want to crack that can and if it just that boom whiff of whatever they're saying they're on the can pale, smacks you in the nose they're pale ales yes i better get some fucking i hope today, so right like I mean, I i'm just them. i'm just reading the first description over here yeah i'm like okay, you know what let's go why don't you uh get right into it tell <laughs> sure. us about this beer the first one uh first on the docket yes. we've got the 20 hazy years ipa uh with lactose okay. uh, by silversmith you know one of our faves yep. uh 6.5 percent uh go ahead and talk about that one don for sure so this unfiltered new england style india pale ale is crafted using premium Hops, flaked oats, and lactose, creating a hazy IPA. Pours a hazy golden color with generous notes of tropical fruit and hoppy character. And enjoy chilled with grilled meats, fresh fruit salads, and cream cheese. So, a couple of things here. Yeah. All right. So, I'm hoping that we're going to get some of that fruitiness, right. a little bit of hoppiness. When yep. I when hopefully we get some aroma. For sure. We also, I don't even know if they can see it in the camera right now, but I, think uh, like, I didn't quite make a fruit salad. But I got a couple of ingredients that you usually see in a fruit salad. We got some watermelon and we got some grapes. Perfect. So, well, you know, we, well, said, we said from the beginning we want to start pairing foods with uh, some of our beer and see yeah. if it's, uh, it's, it's true, right? We'll take a sip. Mm. Well, just on its own, and then we'll take a sip and have a bite of uh, some of the fruit. And I love this golden color. Sorry to enhances. cut you off. I'm already seeing that. It's nice golden color. All right, so the Don's already happy. <laughs> and, and I'm uh, happy to get my taste buds back. I, I feel bad. Last last episode, yeah, I was, was gonna a, say was the sours were bang, bang, bang with you aroma were, with flavor, yeah, and, and I didn't taste anything or smell anything and it was awful maybe we'll talk a little bit about that when we go live again at For the sure. end of the pod i think we're gonna try doing that uh again yes of course yeah. so i'm gonna smell this Ooh. okay yeah those citrusy you know notes for sure citrus comes out first yep yeah it's a traditional style of uh, an ipa yeah. Okay, hazy, nice hazy golden color to it, like they've, like they've stated. I'm going to let it dissipate uh, for a couple seconds for here. Sure. And I'm going to bring up our first uh, talking point here. So, remember, these are the famous beer lawsuits that I'm going to go over. I have uh, uh, how many of it? One, two, three, four, and a bonus, I think. Or one, two, three, and a bonus. Yeah, three and a bonus. And uh, so, bear with me. It's a little bit, you know, like <laughs> a lot of literature I got to read today. Hopefully, uh, my uh, my eyesight. Hopefully, I don't have to go get my, uh, my reading glasses. I could take over for a few you want. You might have to, but we'll see. So... <laughs> There has been a conflict that has gone on for centuries between the brewery that gave birth to Budweiser, Ooh. which is Anheuser-Busch, yes. and a Czech brewery, uh, which is Budweiser Budvar, Budvar. Uh, which has been around since the 13th century and wow. is named after a city in the Czech Republic, right? Okay. So this is like, they, this is their name, basically. Legit. Yeah. So uh, basically, the Czech brewery wasn't happy that Ald, uh, Aldfuss uh, Bush, right, the co-founder of Anheuser-Busch, started sure. use, calling the beer. Uh, Budweiser uh, in the USA. Oh, so in 1939, the two breweries came to a settlement that Anheuser Busch would use the name Budweiser in North America only, while breweries uh, from Bohemia could use the name in Europe. Okay. However, interesting. However, okay. The last I read through uh, it was that Anheuser Busch isn't happy with this deal anymore, ah. and they want Budweiser the Budweiser name all to itself, right? Uh -huh. You know, in American fashion, like you know, Absolutely. right? You know, it's like the big guy. Uh, yeah, know, yeah. They want a massive they, company. They, they and, want it you know, all. They want, they want, a, they want all. all the pie. They yeah. want all the pie. But uh, yeah. So that's how it's going to go today with these talking points. Talk a little bit about the um, some lawsuits. I'm ready to taste this one though, and I got 
Yes. Ready? Oh, cheers. All right. Cheers. Oh, yeah. The citrus is coming out. Oh, very much um, so. Yep. The hoppiness is on a higher level, but it's smooth, right? So you're yeah. getting the hop and you're getting that citrus in your mouth, you know, filling up your mouth with that uh, flavor and that aroma right off the bat. It, to your point, like very, very smooth. I'm almost getting like I'm, I'm almost tasting that lactose. Lactose. Okay. Are you are you, are you yeah. feeling that? Like uh, uh, right in the back of the afterbite? If you can taste that, taste here? it. Yeah. Something's going on there. You know, I think the lactose like that helps smooth, that smoothness. Yeah, I think the hot lactose helps to just smooth it out, right? There's no sharp, you know, uh, notes in terms of any of the flavors. Uh, blended yeah. perfectly. I say blended perfectly all the time. This one is blended perfectly. Um, so we took a couple of sips. Sure. And as it said, fruit salad. All right. right? Let's go. So let, you know, I'm gonna grab a piece of watermelon. I'm gonna all grab right. a grape. I'm gonna pop it in my mouth. Sure. I'm gonna grab the same. Okay. And. Uh, my wife out there. I said, please go inside because the microphones pick up, uh, you know, all of the noise and she's coughing. She's and she decides up. she's going to work outside. Yeah? She's oh, yeah. up, she's, you know, up so I'm going to take a bite here. Okay. So. And did you have a grape too? I did. I popped in a grape. Here, get, uh, pass it get yeah. another grape. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to translate on the podcast. All right. Eating food. Okay, so we had a couple of uh, grapes. We had a piece of the watermelon. We're going to sip some the pieces of lactose floating got around. The lactose floating around. All right. And that's interesting. Did it highlight it for you? Did, did it little, elevate, elevate? You know what? I'm going to say a little bit. Hey, right? I, I, I think uh, Silversmith wasn't messing around. They didn't just they know. write it on there because they felt like writing it on there. Let's take another bite of this watermelon. But. It does pair well. They're, they're, you know, it's nice and fresh. Hey, it's refreshing. Brews. Refreshing fruit. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm probably gonna bump up this beer a couple of points because they said, you know, have it with some, uh, you know, fruit salad. I think it's enhancing this experience for me a little I bit. I think so too. All right. So, is this uh, like a dessert beer? I don't think it's a dessert beer, but maybe not. Well, because well, you're after, saying you would use Italians definitely have fruit. At yes, the end. I'm saying after dinner, maybe? have a cannoli, have uh, know, some fruit. It's light. It's smooth. Mm -hmm. It's not hitting you like a normal pale ale. Yeah, but it just works. Right. Yeah. yeah, taking that bite of the watermelon and then, you know, taking a sip of the beer. Do it. Try it. Right. We're <coughs> encouraging all our brothers, uh, uh, beer brothers and sisters out there. Right. If it says on the can and we, you know, we go through it. We talk to you about, you know, how important it is to read the can, read the label. Yeah. Right. They're telling you about the beer. They're telling you what you should pair the beer with. Right. They're the experts. They created the beer. Right. For sure. So, you know, and I'm sorry. I, I the, it also says with uh, with grilled meats. So yeah. Not so much a dessert beer. Mm -hmm. but I mean, you could have it after dinner uh, with some fruit, but also with your grilled meats and uh, creamy cheeses. So mm. that could even like an appetizer, right? Like Creamy you cheese. Like, yeah. You have like a cheese board. Well, I, I was thinking about cheese. You know, I, I did have some Philadelphia cream cheese in there. Yeah, you know, yeah. but what are we going to do? Just eat it like that? Like out of the... No, you know, no, no. But I'm, yeah, yeah. No. And then like I didn't... Do, I, like, again, I didn't have time to grill any meat. So <laughs> uh, I am going to make some ribs this weekend, but uh, that's... Uh, I'll smoke those ribs uh, maybe for the next, uh, you know, podcast. Yes, right, for sure. Some ribs. Tonight I did um, some nice uh, thin strip loins on the barbecue. Oh, no, there you go. Fast fried. See? Thank, oh. thank God. Don. I should have brought those. See? I didn't... Okay. See, I got to coordinate with you. I got to ask... Got to start asking the Don, what did you make for dinner? Because if it's going to pair with these beers... Absolutely. Bring them over. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take another sip, but I think I'm ready to okay, break too. this thing. Awesome way to start off sure. our and third so, silver smith, pool site. Never Silversmith, you know. Never disappoint. We keep going back, you know, constantly, consistently. It's 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 a uh, it's a staple in this for area sure. for sure. Um, but uh, again, so this was the uh, uh, twenty hazy years uh, hazy IPA with lactose by Silversmith. I'm loving the way we're starting out this podcast. You know, you know I love IPAs. Yo, man. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to give some big scores today. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Three. Two, one, eight point one from the Don one, Ernesto. Yes. Eight point one from me, the Bruiser. Eight well to deserved. start off. Well deserved. Right. Hundred percent. Love it. Love it. Uh, find out what beer we got next. Yes. When we come back. Nice. We're back. We back. We started off with the bang with that yes. uh, first IPA from uh, Silversmith. No and, doubt, uh, Silversmith never disappoints. So. I, I, I have a big smile on my. Hopefully, the smile just stays <laughs> on my face for the rest of the podcast because well, you know I love uh, this. These is a, this is a big for one sure. for me because Superfan Joe, who we haven't talked to in a while, 
Um, he got the next he got, beer, right? He went down east, uh, he out east, and he got it from New Brunswick here. And and, you've been uh, looking forward to this beer for yeah. a little while. But let's pause for a okay, second. Right, we got to talk about that. The, so we yeah. got uh, the yeah. beer manual, yes. right? It's on sale at Amazon. Uh, you know, how to get your bro uh, into craft beer. Get your hands on it. I think it's a great uh, literature and read for someone who wants to get into the craft beer uh, world. But join the challenge. Yeah. Right? So the beer conversion, craft beer conversion challenge is what I'm calling it. Okay. Right? Because, you know, I love now. Now that my my mother in law <laughs> drinks IPAs, yeah, right, oh, yes, she, Rita. you know, before you used to, cause she used to make that. There's that one girl on Instagram. I think I had to unfollow her because she just takes a sip of the IPAs, <laughs> whatever. She Are makes she that, that face, and and I think she's faking now because you can't possibly try that many IPAs and think to yourself they all taste the same. Well, it's and, all for know. hits, right? She's just doing oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So you know, but my mother in law, that's what the face that she gave, right? You know, so she was just like, yeah, you know, it's hoppy, whatever. But now all of a sudden, right? Sure, and if I. Think- I with our our taste buds evolving, I think you now know what she would go for, what yeah. she would like, right? Which is great. She likes something a little bit more floral. She likes the aroma, right? Okay. So if I yeah, give her yeah. something that you know had some aroma yeah. right off the bat, she likes a little citrus, sure. right? Well, so if I can th- give her something like that that has an IBU, uh, you know, a little bit lower, sure, uh, the bitterness unit that's a little bit lower than uh, you know, yeah. Well, uh, she's 20, an average. She loves wine, 20 right? 30. So she loves the aroma aspect yeah. of it. So uh, it just fits with the uh, brew, brew beers too. So this manual will help you with that, yes, right? So I was collecting. I been collecting you know research and information <laughs> on my mother-in-law for yeah. you know, forever yeah and it finally led her to trying some ipas and it finally found the sweet spot for her nice so you know so, it's good you so can do, do the same guys. you can do the same, you can do the same. Do the same. Your bros Check it out. it's yes. available on yeah. amazon let's do it all right i'm not gonna wait any longer because right. the, the don is salivating uh he's been looking forward to this beer well for this is a lot a of pressure while. too because super fan you know i know he, but he knows we're gonna give it an uh you know an honest ring right? absolutely yeah he knows yeah. So, okay so second on the, the docket, docket we got the big axe green eyed pale ale uh so yeah so it's by big axe brewery um 4.2 new brunswick right yes out of new brunswick so we're venturing out of ontario yeah, right Otis but, drive nakawick okay nakawick oh yeah okay. Oh, he's going to get mad at you that you didn't uh, pronounce that properly, oh, right? Lord Tundra, Lord Tundra and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get mad at me. Okay, New Brunswick, okay. So tell us uh, what they're saying about All this right. beer. Okay. Oh, I almost dropped the basket. Mm. Uh, brewed in honor of our troops who served mm. and have served, we introduce uh, our green-eyed bl- pale ale, an aroma yeah. of candy orange. Ooh! With flavors of fresh fruit and citrus pith. Pith? Pith. Yeah, oh, the pith again. Pith, yeah. okay, pith, yeah. Giving uh-huh. way to a sweet maltiness and palate cleansing. I love this. Bitterness. Okay. Okay. Sweet, right? But bitterness is in there. Uh, candy, candy orange. They're saying it's going to pour in candy orange right now. Uh, an aroma. 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 Yeah. Is it going to have a little orange when I pour it in? I don't know. I don't. Aroma oh. of candy orange melds with flavors of fresh fruit and citrus, giving way to sweet maltiness and bitterness. I know we don't talk about the can very often. Oh my anymore, god! I can see this color right now. Like you already, Yeah. Woo. Okay. Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> yes. Love it! Oh, right? big ass! People say beer is beer. Yeah, right? okay. you, you watch yeah. Uh, you watch movies and they walk up to the bar and give me a beer. Yeah, give me. Well, a what beer. are they going to give you? <laughs> right? Because if I give you this, is this it. what you were expecting? I or you know, it. give like, me a beer. Yeah, you know, like, well, that's not the color I thought the beer was going to be. It's right because nice. this is a fucking good beer. Yes, <laughs> I can tell you right now, I'm going to like this. Give me a beer. Oh, you're going to love this. The color is right up your alley. Nice caramel head on it. I'm not even going to wait. I want to see. I want to. Oh, that's this? a nice, distinct smell there. Oh, sweetness! It's hot. You know what it is? That, you know what I smell it? I'm smelling the. Mul- I'm smelling. What are you mul- smelling? I'm smelling the maltiness on that. I'm, I'm smelling are you, toffee. Are you okay? I'm getting some toffee. I love to see. Oh, the bonus yes. points right Ooh, there. All right, super Joe. Fan, Joe. You, know, you got you, a bonus you, point right there. Are you right? <laughs> so wherever I'm at, it might be a six point one with the yeah. bonus point. I don't know. But are we uh, doing a talking point? Yeah, I'm gonna go to this. Okay. No, no, no. I'm gonna take first. Yeah, no, I don't want. I don't any longer. Uh, I have a feeling this is you. one of those you. ones that's you. gonna take. Uh, you know, well, one sip, two sips, three oh, sips. And you know what, bro? I'm spelling that orange. Orange, orange sweetness you know what crunchy you know the crunchy chocolate bar oh. right that's that's what it's like reminding me of i don't know i don't know what it is but uh i'm bruising bros we give it to you straight i don't give a shit if that's what you know big x was not you know they weren't going for that that's what i smell and it's a pleasant smell so that's good all right I'm gonna orange mouths go i didn't even cheers because i just had to dig in let's do a cheers now and holy shit the, the amount of flavors that are going on right now Joe Nicholson was like, I got to give Bruce and Bros this beer. You know what? He brought, he brought back uh, three or four different <laughs> types of beers. Okay. 
And this one. Okay. This one's great. Wow, I gotta ruminate over that one for okay. a little bit. I'm gonna take a sip. While so you much. Sh- while you read. So much going on. Oh my god. All right. Um, this one here, you're, you, I think Canadians in general, but bro, you're gonna love this one. Okay. So there was a lawsuit again against Anheuser Busch. Oh my right? god. But this one was that. So the lawsuit that claimed Anheuser Busch waters down Budweiser. Legit, like waters it down. Waters it down. Okay. Okay. So listen to this. In 2013, there was a class action accusing Anheuser Busch of watering down its beer and misrepresenting the alcohol content. This included Bud Light, Bud Light Lime, Budweiser, and a few other beers. Basically, now this is you know being pulled out of thin air. Okay? Sure. Former employees wow. alleged that the company regularly watered down its beer to increase profits. <laughs> the class action uh, suit was thrown out in 2014. You know, they probably paid him off. No, I, I don't want to. You know, no uh, slander here. No slander. No, 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 no. We don't do that. But uh, do that. deeming its products <laughs> were within the acceptable limit. But here's the thing. And I, I even wrote it down here, bro, right? Canadian beer, Canadian beer brothers and sisters. We've always suspected that, you know, big American breweries, the you know the pissy stuff that we used to drink oh yeah you know as watered down for sure right you know even if it was the same like bud you know bud light Coors, for you know then you cross the border have a bud light there and it never tasted the same yeah. I, i've been on a couple of cruises too and you know it, it's just weird i'm like this does not taste the same interesting right well they, they, there's all those things online that i've seen on instagram where they're they're getting the original beer from where it comes say it came from europe okay and then they cut, get it to the states okay and they compare both i think yeah. the big one for me yeah was Guinness. Oh, yes. And yeah. The Irish yeah. guy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the Irish beer was yeah. way more yeah. flavorful and was authentic. And then you get the I American get it. and it's kind of flat, right? I can't wait any longer. I got to take All a right. sip and smell it. Oh, I'm smelling the crunchy. Who likes crunchy chocolate bars oh, out there? Okay. Because this is what it is. I'm it's, getting that orange aroma like it, it, it okay. says. I mean, you can get crunchy if you want. <laughs> get crunchy. Okay. I haven't really described it. You're going to have to help me, bro, because there's so much going on, but it's smooth. Oh, it's smooth. Right. You got the hoppiness. You, you know, I am. You know what I'm going to get? I'm going to get a teleprompter eventually. <laughs> right. I want to get my teleprompter. I'm going to, you know, touch. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. can get my bar graph because, again, yes. You got the hoppiness, right? But then it blends, right? It's like it's it's like not sharp, right? So are I want you to picture this. Are you getting any of those like the, the, the bitterness tones on the end? Yes. Okay. But, good, good. But it's like. Okay, here's what I want to say. It, it's not spiking like this. It's like, you know, it's not like, ooh, floral, so citrus, so yeah, 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 bitter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> smooth. Yes. It, that's yeah, the, I that's agree the with ground. you. Smooth, right? I agree with you so on that. So it's elevated. Sure. This is fantastic. Everything that they axe. said it was, right? And, and that candy, what did they say with the aroma? That candy. Uh, aroma of candy orange melts. Candy orange. I don't yeah. know what that is, but whatever it is. Melds? I, you told me the candy bar. I'm thinking of the candy bar crunchy when I'm drinking this thing. But I'm getting the orange. Like that first swift, that first first sniff I took off when the, when the can opened was that candy orange was there. Uh, you're candy getting a fruit orange. and citrus pith or yeah. pith. Yeah. Giving way to a I, sweet. I almost, I'm getting more of that, like, right. the sweet maltiness, bro. Maybe. Is, is this grail worthy for you? Uh, man, it's, it, it, this is a good is beer. Is it close? This is a good beer. I'm going to tell you right now, this will be my highest score of, of this season. Okay. Sure. I agree with you. I now, agree. This could be, yes. I, I You know, we're definitely not at bar stool level with Portnoy. Portnoy was like. We yeah. have an issue. What's happened? How are we going to get this beer? If it's I, I, yes. Yeah, yes. Tell them. No, no. Did, oh. he give, did he give us more than two? Not of this Not time. Not of this one. Okay. Anyways. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? We know that when Portnoy talks about a, you know, a pizzeria, if he gives it a high score, then there's a lineup around the corner. You yes. know, that that yes. pizza place, you know, yeah. it, they, they, it just goes crazy, right? Yeah. So, Big Axe, is that what it is? Big Axe. Big Axe, right? The Brews and Bros are, 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 are loving this beer right now. 100%. Right? And, and you're right. Like, this is... We, we usually don't venture out of the Ontario beers. You're because right. That's what we've got. Yeah. But, but Joe we'll Nicholson, take, we'll take beer anytime. He offered, anywhere. Yeah, he offered. He offered. He offered. And, and I'm like, okay, yeah, get us. So we're going to review it. Yep. Um, I'm going to take one more swig. I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, I, bro. You go ahead. I'm almost like uh, in a daze right now. Like I, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> because you're all about flavor. Oh uh, yeah. And everything, I, everything. It's like that, I can't. It's like I convulsing. I can't handle it no, right but now. Ev- everything because that they said on the literature was bang on. It is. You love that. It is. They're true to what it is this is a big ba- this is a banger you know because when they're describing it like that and then it falls flat and we've had that sure right you're like, oh, 
Oh, yeah, man. like you're putting all this effort yes. into writing this yeah. stuff, and right. you don't. I, okay, bro, I don't know. It's enough. Come on. Okay, you're ready. You're ready. You know what you're doing. The uniqueness of this beer, the that's just the smoothest. Where you got the hops, you got a little bitterness for the Don here, right? The Don, I love it all. On, the, on the back end, yeah. I feel it. I'm gonna get you it's, some bitters, you know, yeah. eventually. Oh, yeah, you know, bitter to, yeah, beers yeah, for, for sure. sure. Um, you know what? I I don't even know why. I, pass me that grape. <laughs> Yeah, just like, I, I don't know. I want to try a grape. Okay. You know, maybe this is going to elevate it into a nine. F- no, I'm just <laughs> We've never had one of those. All right. Okay. I'm going to try a grape. Okay. You know, it didn't say anything about pairing it with anything, but, you know. I mean, I think a grape. I guess it's only fair because uh, we did it with the Silversmith beer, so. This is just, like, it's so pleasant. I, I, I almost, I'm going to say this for a second. I'm almost disappointed we're not in the studio. Okay. Remember, you know, I always talk about like yeah. just the aroma filling up the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet well, you this would have. Okay. Outside, like, it's a little different, yeah, but well, we will never know. <laughs> like, it, yeah, it's it's almost like you know, I, oh, no, but but it's there. The aroma's there. The flavor's there. Oh, definitely. You I, like I said to uh, you when I cracked it open. Big axe. If you know my Ontario, my American beer brothers and sisters, big axe. Let's go. If you're go going out east, fucking beer. Go oh, out east. Let's go try it. Let's go. All right. I think I got to rank this thing. All right. I think I'm on the same page as you here, and these might be. <laughs> it's just good. you're thinking of what it, it, is it a decimal a decimal point? Uh, you? It's got aroma. It's got flavor. It's got just enough hops. Got a little bitter in there. <laughs> it's an all around banger, man. It, I, here's the thing. I think it hits the. Can gra- I say this for? I, does it hit the grail for you? That's I want to say this. That's what you got to say. Because now I, I we, we just got back from our New York trip. We tried yeah. a number of beers from the Bronx, from Brooklyn, and all that. Okay. Yeah. We didn't get anything like this. No. no. Right. We didn't get anything like this. No. 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 <sighs> no. All right. No. Here we go. Okay. Again, and thanks to Joe Nicholson. Super fan, Jordan, Lord Tundra, Lord Tundra, and Jesus. We always say that when we see each other. <laughs> Big Axe Green Eyed Pale Ale by Big Axe Brewery. Here we go. He's going to love this. Three, two, two, one. 8.6 for the Donner Eight from Me the Bruiser. Is it the biggest ever? I don't bro? know. I think it I'm is. not sure. You got to go in the archives. I, I, maybe. I'm you gonna have, have to, to dig deep I, and see. Did no. I give anything an 8.8 in the past? Because I think a, I'm telling you right now. Where's the? Got That's the, the biggest score I think you've given. I got the Eric Lindros right there. The 88. 88. I yeah. guess. Yeah, you're good. Um, wow. Fantastic. Uh, you better you better close us out because I'm still <laughs> I'm, I'm in a daze. I'm All gonna right, daze. folks. <laughs> that was beer number two. <laughs> when we come back, we got beer number three, and we'll talk about some other stuff as well. Check it out. Ooh. We're back. Oh, we are so back. I'm still thinking about that last beer. Holy shit. Yeah, Big fantastic. Axe? Good job, Joe Nicholson. <laughs> Big and Axe is not joking around. And should we let them in? <laughs> should we let them in on the secret, uh, Don? Sure. We usually yeah. will keep the best for last in a sense right right so you know we kept this last beer you know i i was thinking like you know it it has everything that we're looking for in a beer so yep. i wanted to keep it last but then we just had that fucking banger of a beer <laughs> so we had to go and rinse out our mouth we've never done that before we went into my house and we cleanse it yeah i had to yeah. drink some hey, water i, I want to make sure ya. it's true you know, but anyways I was, I was feeling kind of you know yes well, i agree with you we had to clean it out because if this one is anything like yeah. The last one. Anyways, we got a bunch of sponsors to get through. Let's do it. Newest sponsor, Demo Dogs, uh, you know, residential demolition. You need to smash uh, something. Yeah, <laughs> smash. Clean crash. Up. Crash. Get out of your house. Yep. Uh, I got the information on Instagram for you, so check them out. For sure. Uh, we also have Fuel Digital Designs. I think you can see it now. I think I finally got the camera you so you the can see. The splash wall needs to come out right? here. No splash wall yet, <laughs> right? Uh, but he's got actually big things in the works. Uh, he's got another splash wall for a coming up. Nice. I saw some... Uh, some of his um, uh, his prints that he's yeah. doing uh, fantastic. fantastic so he's awesome yep and uh, Niagara Craft Brewery Tour stumbled that yeah, one yeah still time guys take advantage Brews and Bros pop in that uh, promo code B-R-E-W-S-N B-R-O-S right in there 20% off 20% come on 20. Go. And they got everything. Stretch out this summer, guys. Woo! Right? You know, let's go, right? Go and These, do a tour. Steve and the guys will take care of you yeah. so much. Let's yeah. go. All right. Last 
on the docket. We've got the close to home. All Ontario. All Ontario. Pale Ale by I Brimstone. I love this yeah, name. It's yeah. a 4.2%. Don, you got some literature to talk about. For sure. Nothing for crazy. A little bit smaller than the rest. But hey, brewed with 100% Ontario ingredients, this pale is bright and refreshing and the perfect mix of flavor and drinkability. Could this be the ultimate pale? Oh, yes, All right. Let's pour it in. I got, I got two lawsuits I'm going to talk about. You got a bonus one? Yeah, I got a bonus one All in right. there. I had to put in there. So Ooh, uh, let's just pour it in. Look at that pour. Right. Little haze. Love it. You know I like that oh haze. Oh, my God. You right. love this haze. <laughs> this guy's going to give this a 10. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Holy Look at cow. that, bro. I don't know. It's not going to translate. Now, we got the... Is it dusk yet? Is that basically... I think it's after six, right? Yeah, is that what yeah, it is? after six, yeah. Oh, like, oh. It's like... Is it creamsicle-like? I don't it know. It does it, actually look I like don't a know. nice popsicle creamsicle. It doesn't... It's subtle. Subtle. It's subtle, yeah. But, it doesn't state that in here, though, yeah. right? Uh, flavor and drinkability. A little That's citrus, what it's going you know, for, okay? it, but That's it's got it's a distinctive haze. But okay, I'm let it sit there. I'm, let, it, let it let it permeate yeah, for you, like just you for say. a bit. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. All right, my second. Well, I got third lawsuit, and then I got a bonus. Okay, Foster's beer. So Foster's not made in Australia. Lawsuit. Ooh. All right. Foster's beer is forever being connected to Australia. However, Foster's isn't actually popular down and down under. It's, it, it isn't even brewed in Australia. Oh. Okay. It's actually produced by Miller's Coors in Texas. Okay. 2017, lawsuit against Miller's Coors asserting that uh, the marketing campaign for the beer made it seem like it was brewed in Australia. Okay. There are many cultural references, kangaroos, the Southern Cross that's on the flag, kangaroos. blah, blah, blah. Right. Uh, Miller's Co- Miller Coors disagreed. They pointed out... That there was disclosure on the packaging about the place and the product of production. In the end, the court sided with Miller Coors, wow. stating that you know the disclaimer overshadowed any illusions that the beer was brewed in Australia. Wow! Okay. But when I just said it there, you thought definitely it was brewed in Australia. I right? thought for, for sure. Foster's, right? Yes. We have Outback Steakhouse. Yes. I think that the, the freaking you know <laughs> um, the restaurants like coming up with Foster's, I right? Outback, so. right? Was it? I, I've never been to Outback. Did they have Foster's Andrew and there? I went when it first opened. There's okay. one in the falls. All right. Schooner. They were advertising the chick. Yes. I could have I could have added to this lawsuit, I yes. guess, right? Schooner of Foster's, right? At Outback Steakhouse, right? Yes. So, you know, you make the connection if you want. They lost. My right. first scooter was on a on a, on a ship on a cruise ship. Well, do you remember what the beer was? You can tell us. <laughs> oh it's okay. my god! It I won't. I won't. I won't no, hold no, it against no, you. I can't. No. 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 I you don't want to say it. No. I no. I don't even remember. Oh, dude. Right. My honeymoon. It was in the Mediterranean. Yeah, Who knows? It could be in a. Uh, uh, I could say Peroni. If you okay. Know. Let's let's pretend it's Peroni because <laughs> okay. I, I can I can deal with Peroni. All right. I'm gonna take a sip, and then I'm yeah, gonna do okay. a bonus. Okay. okay yes. Yeah. I'm looking at this and. Just smell that in there. I, I'm, I'm, I am getting something. You're getting I, citrusy in but, there. But are you looking at like but this look, is beyond a haze? This bro, is like bro, I'm getting like what you said, like that cream. Right, it's a creamsicle. Like it's like they poured looks, that popsicle into a glass. This looks delicious. Just yeah. looking yeah. at yeah. it. All right. I mean, I'm gonna pour some more in here. All right, just top, bro. It up, but okay, okay. You're, Cheers. Okay, you're I got too excited. I, for I know. Me. I, I got to sip it now. I got. I got it right now. Right now. <laughs> it's different than the last one, but how much of a burst of freaking freshness was that? That's that is good. <laughs> that is good. It was I'm a, getting a little bit more bitterness. And, and you got some stated, bitterness. But I'm getting more bitterness. And you got some here. bitterness there at the, but in a good way. Not right? overpowering. Yes, not no, overpowering. Right. No, no, no. no I almost like. So we have to remember that Don likes bitter beers. Now we we, we didn't know that. Right, yeah. you know, until I started, I'm like, I kept on, you know, I started plugging him at the season one. <laughs> Bro, we got to do sours. Oh, I don't like sours. I don't think, you know, why, why are we going to do sours? I'm going to give him like 0.0. And right? now what's in my fridge? I just went to get a couple of sours. <laughs> right? Funny. It's funny. So when, we, when he says bitter, actually, it makes me smile because, <laughs> you know, I, I know that maybe the Don is enjoying it. He's digging it. Okay. I'm digging this. I, I, I'm going to take another sip, and then it's I'm going to go. It's a mix of flavors, bro. Mix. Mix of flavors. It's drinkable. Yeah. 100%. I agree. The thing is, this is one that you can definitely... Did I even say what it was? Close to home? All Ontario Pale yes, Ale? Yes, you did. By yes, Brimstone? Did. Of, course, yeah, of course you did. All right. Just want to say it again, just in case. 
Okay. It's nice and light, too, though. Yeah. It's nice and light. That's what I'm saying. For a 4.2, I think that's the surprising aspect of this, right? You know, you... you, you you get a little weary when you're having something that, that that's that light. Yeah, but when I mean light too, I mean like it's light, it's refreshing, mm-hmm. and crisp, it goes smooth. Yeah, there's that hint of bitterness on the on the back end, yeah. which it doesn't state that, but I'm getting that. I know what you're saying, Don. Uh, this is nowhere close to a fucking trunk beer. No, nowhere fucking close. Right? No way. No. No. We're not popping this when we're finished playing hockey in the in the in the, in the, in the parking <laughs> it's lot. It's not staying in the fucking. I mean, truck. I would. I want this to be. I would. But- as Cold and crisp. I, I, yeah. Just like we drank it. Yeah. You know, my, my uh, fridge out here gets these glasses so frosty, oh my so gosh. cold. It was perfect. Party. And honestly, this is the perfect beer for what the setting is right here. Right now, <laughs> it is. tonight, with the pool behind us. You know? Yeah, I'm going okay. my trunks next time. Bonus right here. I had to throw this in because I wanted some Canadian. You know, we're obviously Canadian. And yes. We feature Ontario beers on this yeah. podcast. So yes. I want to throw in some Canadian because I found this one interesting when I was doing some research today. The Tragically Hip, okay? Gord Downey, you know. Gord Downey, yes. R.I.P. Yep. Sue's Mill Street Brewery over their 100th Meridian beer. Okay. okay. So after their song the band claimed Mill yeah. Street tried to profit off the fame and goodwill and reputation of the band uh, there were media posts by Mill Street that tried to associate the 100th Meridian Lager with the band also Mill Street uh, the brew pub in St. John's Newfoundland oh maybe when we go on our trip we gotta oh. go check this out too um, they yes. broadcasted the final concert of the hip live Right, yeah. and had specials on pints of the hundredth Meridian Lager during the show. So, okay, I want to throw that in there. Here's the only thing: all the other ones I gave you, the, uh, uh, I guess the decisions that were made on those lawsuits, I couldn't find out if they won this lawsuit or not. So there's nothing on online that you can find. I, that, no, uh, what happened? I, okay. I maybe it's good, still ongoing. It, well, maybe, but yeah. it was like 2021. So wow. I'm like. Really? Like, it seems pretty clear cut to me that. I can't believe he passed away. So, like, yeah. Is, is it been since 2021 since he passed away? Oh, yeah. Beca- yeah. Well, because they were saying that the final concert and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I, I would say so, yeah. yeah. Um, Easy. But uh, I want to throw that in there because we've been talking lawsuits and, you know, we wanted to uh, bring up the Canadiana. Yeah, the hip. Can- you, how, how, Canadian. you can't get more uh, no, Can- you can. Canadian than the you hip, can. right? You can. So, you yeah. know, shout out to the hip. Shout course, out. So. All right. Actually, fair enough, like you say, like uh, last year I went to go see. Uh, uh, a cover band in uh, Fort Erie at the, the racetrack. Okay, and they're called Strictly Hip. They're Strictly out of Buffalo. Hip. Though. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've out seen of Buffalo before, though. too. Yeah, they yeah. knocked the house. And yeah. they're, they're back again. I would love to go yeah, see those guys. My Buffalo Beer Brothers. I know you guys love the Hip too. We used to cross the border, go to Darien Lake to see them all the time. Yes, crushing whatever beers you guys had. Uh, you know, <laughs> at the concert. You know, the lawn seats. Bud right? Light. Just Bud whatever Light. it was. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe it was a Bud. All right, I got to get another swig. All right, and and uh, I hope I'm doing this justice because it is different than the big axe but this is a fucking solid beer the color looks it, it almost looks like a pineapple if i could say that does it this one just like it's very hazy though like you like i'm doing your finger test and i don't see anything there's a line from seinfeld so here we they're, go they're very awkward <laughs> sitting at the uh a dinner table they've been invited to dinner elaine and jerry are sitting there yeah and they, they're just they don't know what to talk about it's it, it's just awkward and you know elaine's drinking or sorry drinking she's eating peas peas okay. Okay. peas. nobody likes All fucking right. peas yeah peas. <laughs> they're bursting with country fresh flavor she says <laughs> That's all. I don't know. Every time I sip this, that's just it's in my head. It's your bursting head? <laughs> country fresh flavor, right? Man, I swear to God, when <laughs> I'm sitting there in these Seinfeld episodes, I have to send them to you because it's like they make but, me piss but my pants, it, and I just never really. Res- I, I don't want to say not respected. I I always thought Jerry was finding this show was amazing, but I now coming from you, like yeah. you're a huge fan. Yeah, I look at him now and I'm like. These guys were fantastic, and I love watching those snippets of you know what I, Kramer and Jerry <laughs> and when they break character and like how do you stay? That's the thing. How I, do you stay? Yeah, in they your crack element, themselves. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. And they, George is oh, just on another laughing, level. Laughing the whole. Uh, Frank time. Costanza. Like, oh, wow. one of my Jerry favorite Stiller. Jerry Stiller, honestly, one of my favorite characters. As well. When he was in the mix, there um, like. You know, I'm Rest jealous. Rest in peace, too, to Jerry Stiller. Yeah. I'm jealous because you were never a massive fan. It's like you're almost experiencing these for the first time. Well, right? it's not even and that. Yeah, like, I, I, I don't say, I, listen, I'm not a fan, but yeah. 
I wasn't a fan. You'll be eventually. Not, not, no, well, no, I'll not, keep talking not, about other Honestly, podcasts. not so much in depth like you. Like, <laughs> I don't know well, every episode. I was every, obsessed. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. Obsessed. Yeah. Would I would I <sighs> pop in the DVDs and start watching them again? 100% because I like the show. It's fantastic. I'm trying to decide about this beer for a second because the last beer, even though I, I rinsed out my mouth, I'm supposed to put it out of my head. It's still in the back of my brain for Brew, a second. Brew, I am trying and, to do the same thing yeah. because I'm I'm stalling here because I don't know what to do. Because <laughs> if you brought me that beer to my table, I always try to picture I'm at a I'm at a bar restaurant. You bring me this beer, I try that big axe, and I'm like, what the fuck did I just try? <laughs> <laughs> this right. one is like, holy cow! I can just drink this. Oh, I could just I drink so and difficult. drink and drink. I don't know how many of these you put in front of me. I'll just keep drinking it. Yeah, because it, well, it, it 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 has you just gave enough a monster flavor. score to the last one. I know, I know. This is difficult for you. I get it. But Am I going to have to drink the whole beer for the first time to actually get <laughs> my to get your score? Because I don't know yet. Okay. Do you have anything to talk about for a second here? Because I still don't fucking know. <laughs> Not, not to put the Don on the no, spot. You caught me off guard there. <laughs> For sure you I'm just joking. Guard. I'm just, but honestly, oh, that's okay. I really, really don't know yet. I, I, I don't know. And that's okay. That's why we're here. I am going to say this. <laughs> it's a good beer. <laughs> it is a very good beer. Yep, yeah. it's a good beer. Um, okay. So this close to home, all Ontario pale ale. From Brimstone. I'm almost a little biased because I love the fact that all of the ingredients are from Ontario. I love that. Hops, everything. Everything, I love that. you know, including the water, right at the fucking Niagara Falls. I don't know. <laughs> um, so that's that's, that's a bonus for sure. For sure. It's a different kind of beer than the last one, though. The last one was just so flavorful, right? Yeah, I'm, I could be honest but, with you. I'm not like the last one, to your point, was very unique. Flavorful, was very unique. Unique. Never tasted yeah. something like that in, in terms of what we tasted. Yeah, but we and weren't then, expecting that, right? Oh, no, exactly. And then but, now this one here yeah. is still fantastic. But that's what I'm saying. It's almost like if we didn't have the last beer and we just had this one for this podcast, right? I think this one You'd be like, whoo! Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree, the with, you. I agree with you. Country that. fresh flavor, like I said, <laughs> the crushability factor. Oh it's my God, 100% so, Ontario grown. Right? Though. So many notes of the yeah. game. Right, give me that. Give me that. <laughs> give, me, give me the board. I got to put it here. You gotta put something down, I guess. Uh, you won't. Well, you have to put something. <laughs> yeah, down. yeah. Here's your marker. Close to home. All Ontario Pale Ale. And don't let this sway you. I mean, we finished no. all three beers this time. But, yeah. Most of the time yeah. we we do, but there's yeah, most time we do. <laughs> you writing? I'm gonna wait till you start writing. I don't know. No, I gotta no, wait. Hang on a second. This yeah. is I mean, this is a big cut. Co- this is all right. <laughs> oh, he goes in for another swig. Okay. It's it's just good. I don't think I need it. It's just good. It's just good. Okay. I can't remember what right. I gave the last time, but hey. <laughs> uh, I think I'm I'm think I'm here. Are you there? I, I think so. Okay. I think I'm there too. All right. Ready? Yeah. Can you see that? Okay. Here we go. All right. Three, two, one. Eight point five from the Don Ernesto. Eight point four from me, the Bruiser. I think well deserved, bro. Honestly, <sighs> every beer was in the eats. I yeah, love when it happens yeah, on this podcast. Yeah. I love it. I, I think it wasn't. I don't want to say it was missing something. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. They it did wasn't. exactly what they wanted yeah. to do with yep. this beer. So. Yep. All right, go closing, and get it. Closing comments when we come back. When we come back. We're back. Boom. Done. What a fantastic lineup. I was almost like... You did the plucking out of the fridge. <laughs> and you plucked... I mean, Grail... I, maybe Grail, Grail, Grail hasn't oh. happened yet, but... Maybe... Nah, nah, grail. Who knows? But when we give uh, every single beer that we've had uh, touched our lips uh, in the eights, like, you know, it's a good podcast. Right? Oh, my gosh. We haven't had those in a while, but it's... Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And to say that we're not doing it on normal nights, today's a Thursday. It's a, yeah, that's you know, right. That's right. Do we're doing a deal, deal we're early. Kind of just a, okay. just I, our schedule. Until you of, said it right there, I, I didn't even think about that. So. <laughs> I know, to tell you the truth. Uh, I just know that I have to prepare for Wonderland tomorrow. So. No, that's right. Mm, yep. Going to Wonderland. I don't do rides, but <laughs> <laughs> I know I've been trying to get you on any yeah, any kind I of always, and, and every time I go, I'm like, you know, every time I see something like my kids watch it on YouTube, 
and they see the, the roller. I'm like, I can do that. I think I'm, I, do, I'm doing it. I'm I think doing I got to get you bombed first, and then you're just going to. Uh, well, all start the it off slow. I don't want no dude on oh. a Leviathan or Behemoth. I gotta, like, get me on a, like a Vortex. I got to write a manual about that. I, yeah, how do I get your bro into how roller you, coasters? <laughs> I could probably could do it. How do you get your bro in law <laughs> into roller coasters? <laughs> uh, let me get into a Vortex and a bat I like before it. I do a Leviathan. I like it. Yeah. Anyways. You know what to do. Follow us on Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. We're all over the We're place. All over. Subscribe and hit that little bell there so yeah, you get notifications when our next episode is on YouTube. Interact with us. You know, yeah, we're, we love we're it. doing some more live. Actually, we're going to do another live after this podcast. Yes, uh, join too. in if you can. Join in if you can. Um, Weekly. Beer manual. Right? How yes. to get your bro into craft beer. Available on Amazon Canada. Available on Amazon USA. Um, it's there. It'll help you guys. Right? It's fun. It's got a lot of stories in there, beer drinking games in there. Yes. Um, we got some, uh, you know, education like we always do, right? We'll talk to you about all these abbreviations, IBU, and, you know, yeah. all that stuff that's, uh, you know, it's a very, know. a very educational, you know, and simplified uh, literature yeah. that you could read it's and, and give to anybody, right? Just a gay gift. It's yeah. actually, you know, there's some good shit in there. So, you know, <laughs> just, just go and buy it. Awesome. I'm having fun, and we'll see you in the after show. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready for the after show. Let's I think go, I'm, I, yeah, I'm yeah, looking yeah. forward to it. So I think we can just let loose. Yeah. We don't have a Let's script. Just no script, and we'll yeah, just yeah. do it. So, are we ready to yeah. sign off here? Yes, we are, sir. Two brothers. Three beers. We're out. out.